This time we're making a drum beat. We're gonna have both a kick and a snare playing together. This patch is loosely based on the Jazzy Drummer patch that comes with the patch sheet that Teenage Engineering put together. But I, I made my twist on it, okay? I gave the drummer a snare and we're gonna be controlling the kick and the snare is gonna be Jazzy. Let's go! Let's make the sine wave our kick. Get the output of that. Go into the mixer. Make the mixer out. Go into the VCA. VCA to speaker. Left. There's our sign. We're gonna trigger this sign using the sequencer. And with an envelope. But not in the way that you might think we will. We will use the control voltage input right here. So we'll take the envelope, put it the sign control in, and we'll trigger it using the sequencer, but not with the clock, not with the pocket operator, we we'll trigger it with the CV. So I put all these all the way down. I'm gonna use the output of the sequencer to trigger the envelope. So whenever I turn one of these knobs, it will trigger this envelope. So let's try it out. And you have to engage this as well, so of course. So this envelope gets this motion. If you make the decay and release shorter, you get a very more snappy sound. You can tune tune it with the tune and level control of this. Cool, we got our kick going. Now let's make a snare. I'm gonna make a snare from white noise. Put that into VCA. Put that VCA into our number three on the mixer. Ooh, lovely. Don't you just love that snare? We have to give it an envelope. So the envelope to the control. We're gonna trigger this with the random. So let's take the saw noise into the random and the random to the trigger. We got ourselves the snare. And we can add more kicks by tuning this up. Let's make some a more interesting pattern. And here we go. We got ourselves a kick and snare pattern that you can control the kick on. If you want this to go slower, you can use the square LFO to trigger the clock in on the sequencer to make it a more groovy. Why not put all of this through the filter? Why don't involve other wave shapes? It's up to you to discover. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.